Sydney drivers could soon be targeted by a new high-tech weapon watching what they're doing behind the wheel. A Seven News investigation has found the super snooping cameras can pick up driver distractions like texting and talking on mobiles. From the back of this police van in the UK and from more than 400 metres away, this camera can not only identify an approaching car, it can see what the driver is doing and find them. Seatbelts, mobile phone offences um, and driver behaviour of, of, of all sorts. The cameras take high resolution images. Drivers breaking the law are later fined. Not surprisingly, they're not popular in Britain, but their creator makes no apologies. If you're not breaking the law, it's not a problem. A government inquiry into driver distraction recommended making it easier to enforce mobile phone offences with police investigating various camera technologies. It's a concern when in September on one single day in Operation Compliance we infringed 900 drivers using mobile phone handsets. If you get absorbed in your phone you take your eyes and your mind off the road and it only takes one second for something to go horribly wrong. The camera's creators have told Seven News they're already in talks with New South Wales Police about testing and rolling out the cameras here. We've got to use whatever we can. Uh, certainly the next generation of cameras is something we really should examine. But critics fear the government may want the cameras for more than just road safety. This is a government who has increased mobile speed cameras by sevenfold. What we don't want to see with these new devices is this simply a way of filling state coffers. The most effective deterrent is a policeman pulling them up for doing the wrong thing, getting the penalty on the spot. And we're live now to Lee Jellisek. Lee, when are drivers likely to see these new cameras on our roads? Chris, the roads minister believes it'll be at least a year. Duncan Gay says he likes the idea of these high-tech cameras but says there'll need to be extensive community consultation so drivers are fully prepared for what will, of course, be a massive change. He says it's likely these cameras will be managed by private operators like we've seen with the mobile speed cameras. Chris? All right, thanks, Lee. Lee Jellisek there joining us live.